Okay, so this is good. This is good abstraction so far, but there's one thing that still kind of seems like it's in the wrong place. If we go back to front.php, it's the fact that we're setting the priority here of this listener inside of our front.php file. Now, because the content length listener is something that will act the same for any application pretty much, it makes sense to run it before all of our other listeners. So that's something that doesn't really belong in our front.php file. It's not something we want to copy over and over again for every front controller that we have. Now it's just a few characters, so it doesn't seem like it should be that big of a deal. But this is an example of something called a code smell. It's when our code kind of looks like it may be off in some way, we can deal with how it's structured now, but it might be an indicator of a larger problem or issue with our architecture that's gonna make it harder to extend later on. So that's what this is. We can deal with it now, but if we go through the steps of improving how this is used so that this number is actually embedded inside of our content length listener, we'll actually end up with an architecture that makes more sense. So basically what this next step will involve is adding subscribers instead of listeners. Right now in our front.php file, we use add listener in order to specify a specific method in a class to run whenever this event gets triggered. A subscriber, on the other hand, is a class that can include multiple listeners. If, for example, we had three different listeners that were closely related to one another, they couldn't exist on their own, it would make sense for them to be bundled up together as part of one subscriber, instead of manually setting them as listeners here. That way the relationship between those different listeners would be explicit, and adding them all we could do with just a single line, instead of adding three of them and hoping that we have all of the listeners that we need. So our event dispatcher supports this structure. So let's take a look at the code to figure out how it would work. 